Let's talk about notifications. Let's talk about how to make sure that we keep your notifications under control. So chat gives you the ability to stay connected to your team and the ability to you know, rapidly be in contact with each other, but it comes with an Achilles heel. And that is that chat is the virtual equivalent of walking up to someone's office, knocking on their door and saying, hey, are you free right now? Because you know, if they set up their Chrome, it's, it's probably gonna pop up on their computer and disturb them. So with great power comes great responsibility. It's important that you be careful how much you're using chat inside your business. And now I've just taught you all of this, I'm gonna say, use it as little as possible because what's more important is that you understand and you know the difference between linear and non-linear work. And what I mean by that is, should you really be interrupting someone to say this with this message that you wanna send right now? Might be important and urgent to you in this moment because you've thought about it, but does that necessarily mean that you need an answer right now? Or could a team member give you an answer within an hour or within a day and you'd still be okay? Now, that's the main question that you've got to ask yourself with internal communication. And that's why we're, we're big proponents of using a task management tool like Asana, ClickUp, Monday.com, Rike, Trello, whatever you want to use, doesn't matter. We're Asana partners. We put Asana in about 500 companies. And so we love Asana, but you can use whatever works for you and whatever works for your team. But with your task management system, that's where any non-urgent work should be going. Non-urgent communication should be going, ideally. Because if you switch to using chat for absolutely everything, then everything is urgent all the time and then nothing is urgent, right? So we don't want that to happen. So the idea is for you to, as much as possible, only use chat for that stuff where you must interrupt someone. And that might be, hey, I put this response in Asana a day ago. I haven't heard from you. Just pinging you. Do you mind checking this out? Or it might be, hey, this person made a sale. Everyone, you know, stop what you're doing and celebrate. Yay. Give them a, you know, give them a thumbs up. That's, that's also cool as well. Or it might be, hey, can we jump on a quick meeting and discuss something? But, you know, ideally you would use your calendar. You'd find a slot in your colleague's calendar and you'd drop it in without interrupting the work that they're doing. So with great power comes great responsibility. But here's how you can have yourself notified less when there are chat messages flying around. So what we've got here in each one of our chats, let's use the water cooler as an example. We're going to go to the three dots and then we're going to go to notifications. You've got the option to always notify. I don't recommend you ever use that unless you're a manager or a leader of a particular team and you want to see every single thread that's created. But for the most part, I would say every chat room that you're in, you would want to go to notify less or potentially even notifications off. So notify less means that anything that you're following, it's going to notify you if you're a follower on that thread. So if someone mentions the whole company, it's going to notify you. But if you switch notifications off, it's just basically going to give you nothing. Now, what I like about notify less is once you reply to a thread, it's automatically going to mark you as a follower. And let me show you what an example of that looks like. So you can see this thread's been posted by Lauren. I didn't get a notification because I, uh, you know, I wasn't participating in that thread and I haven't been mentioned in that thread. But I've actually got a follow button up here in the top right hand corner. So I can always click follow and then I'll start receiving notifications for that. Now, I'll leave that unfollowed for now, but let's say for example, I go and type a reply and I say, thanks Lauren. It's automatically gonna follow the thread for me, ta-da. So now any new replies to that thread, I'm gonna receive a notification. One of the other cool things that Google Chat allows you to do is set your presence. So in the top right-hand corner here, I can actually choose whether or not I wanna be available, do not disturb away, or just an automatic status. And my automatic status because I'm basically, because I'm in a Google meeting right now, it's actually gonna tell people that I'm in a meeting. So see, it's got that little calendar icon there. It's gonna let people know that right now Pete's in a meeting. And so you may not be able to reach him if you send him a message. But I've specifically chosen do not disturb so that it actually completely, completely mutes my alert so that no one can bother me or disturb me. Even if someone sends me a direct message, it'll show up with a little red dot. So it looks like I've been mentioned in a few different places here, but it, it's not gonna make a sound and it's not gonna pop up on my computer as well. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. 
If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.